in our country for generations. Whether it was women who wanted the right to vote, well, whether it was people of color, black people in our country who wanted civil rights and also the right to vote, whether it was working people, unions, farm workers, all these individuals, men and women and children, have been doing what you're doing today. Sometimes, sometimes when the different, when the issues are very tough, there are people who are afraid to take a stand. There are people who are afraid to go out and have their voices heard. They're embarrassed or they're timid. But what you do is you are at the point of democracy, at the very point, and you're using your own bodies and your own voices to say this is our country, this is our city, this is our issue, and we come today to tell the city council no. Because you are going to live through this a lot more than people my age are going to live through it. This is a journey that we have started taking with this nuclear project. It's going to be a long one. And you have to be here. You have to be informed. You have to take the information back to your schools, to your families. And you have to tell them, this is what is happening. Our city council is getting ready to vote to have us pay through our utility bills millions and millions of dollars that we don't have. <laughs> Obama y rezando que la gente 
gente se olvidara, se metió con los ladrones y se le olvidó a la gente. Pero a la Catrina no se olvida. Vio que Chiplis estaba Castro y se puso en el caso. Cuando Castro estaba peinando, ella tomó el peine y su mano, apagó a la luz y lo mandó al otro lado. That's a cubana learning how to do Mexican calaveras.